Joined gotcha. by Jason Lockham for NFL Insider for CBS and CBSSports.com. You mentioned Eli. They have the second pick. Do you believe they draft quarterback or they go with Saquon Barkley? I, I don't believe that they have sort of um, understood or been willing to accept who they really are, which is a team that went 3-13 and last year for a reason and that has only been good in you know one of the last four years for a reason. So... I don't think they're particularly close. I don't think Eli is an ascending player, and I don't think Eli is built to be winning in January anymore. But I don't think that's where they are. Uh, they, this offseason would have played out a lot differently if they were. And, and now all of a sudden they seem to really like Davis Webb, although they have been allegedly a big part of sitting Eli and ending his streak was to get a look at Davis Webb as soon as he's ready, and we think he's pretty close. He just needs a few weeks of practice. That never happened. So they've been kind of talking out of both sides of their mouth. To me, they're a little bit like the Broncos. They're trying to kind of trying to have it both ways, but the reality is um, the salary cap and an aging team and, and the, the, the way salaries work in the NFL catch up to everybody. Windows have to close at times, and um, that's where I think they are. Will Barkley stave that off a little bit? Eh, eh, maybe. Not if you lose Odell Beckham, but, you know, Maybe they're a little more balanced on offense, but I, I still don't really know how good they are on defense. And you guys know this with all the, the Redskins splurges. Anytime you do that, you might get two or three seasons out of all those guys together, but then that's it. The contracts blow up. The way those things are structured, you're not able to keep you know Harrison again and keep paying him that money because now you have to pay Landon Collins too, and you're trying to figure this thing out with Odell. And Olivier Vernon hasn't been able to stay on the field as much as you like. You've already traded away one of the guys part of that splurge, right? Pierre Paul, mm -hmm. who got franchised that year. I mean, it's just like, good luck, man. Good, good luck. I would have torn the whole thing down. Eli Manning would have been out of my building the moment I came in if I'm Dave Gettleman. But the ownership wanted him around, and he's there for a reason. So, no, I don't think they're taking a quarterback, even though I think that's what they absolutely should do. Jason, do you like the Pernell McPhee signing by the Redskins, and do you think they still have an outside shot at Jonathan Hankins? And if Hankins doesn't wind up here, where does he sign? Yeah, you know what? I, I do like McPhee, and I was surprised. Now, I, the medicals are not great, and, and that's probably why he lingered as long as he did because uh, some teams are thinking he's damaged goods at this point. But, you know, when he played in Chicago, when he was able to play three, four weeks in a row, he was a pretty effective football player. The problem was, that those periods of availability weren't weren't nearly um, weren't nearly robust enough. So I think it's a, at this point a guy's been lingering on the market that long. I mean, think about how long ago he got cut. You're, you're, it's a value play, and you may get some bang for your buck. So I, you know, I I like it. I mean, it, 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 does he end up being a guy who only plays eight games? Maybe, but you might as well take the risk. And they're obviously trying to get some assets into the defensive line. I mean, Hankins, yeah, they still have a shot. I mean, that the safeties and D-tackles, um, you know, haven't fared that well on this market at a time when, when most wide receiver running back absolutely blew up. Um, those guys have kind of sat. They're have, they haven't gotten the kind of money they thought they would um, other than Sue. I mean, Don Terry Poe didn't get what he thought he would get. Sheldon Richardson didn't get what he, got, what he, what he thought he'd get. Muhammad Wilkerson ended up signing for $5 million, basically plus incentives. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule that out at this point. Who's the best guy on uh, available right now, in your opinion? Best free agent available right now? Oh, God. I think if you're still shopping now, again, you're not. It's, 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 They're all about things the have shifted to the draft. I mean, at, at this point, if you're trying to get a difference maker player, it's, it's not free agency. It's, I mean, look at free agent receivers like Cam Meredith. I like him. Another guy with the Bears hurt too much, but they put a low tender on him. You know, I would take a crack at that. But really, if you're trying to make your team better, it, there's still opportunity to make significant trades between now and the draft. I mean, I think, you know, it would not shock me if Odell Beckham is traded before the draft. It would certainly not shock me if Earl Thomas is traded before the draft. Like, there's, there's some real difference makers there. And then safety. I mean, Eric Reed's a pretty good football player. Right. He, he's not special. I don't know if he's going to live up to his first-round billing, but he can play in the league. Kenny Vaccaro can play in the league. Ron Parker can play in the league. I mean, I wrote about this. These safeties, they're all basically being screwed by the fact that nobody wants to touch Eric Reed. Mm. But if we just ignore Eric Reed, then, boy, it's pretty obvious this is Kaepernick 2.0. So, like, 
Nobody's signed any of these really good young safeties. Like these safeties <laughs> under 30, nobody's signed any of them because then maybe Eric Reed won't have a case. <laughs> That's a good point. Any thoughts on Manziel yesterday? No. <laughs> no. All right. No thoughts. Go to the CFL and play football and live like an adult for a while, and then we'll see if you you know if you can earn your way back to the NFL. Yeah, that's the way I feel. 